Hi, it's John. I'm at Alton Pancras, which is just a couple of miles down the road from where I live. And it's the 16th of November, 2016. I'm just walking up somewhere called Rake Hill. Now these, uh, I didn't realise there was going to be such a nice view of these cottages. Pity they're not in the sun, but there we go. Well, it's a nice morning, but also I've been thinking I need more exercise. They say if you exercise 20 minutes a day, that does you good and you lose fat. That's looking down on the village of Alton Pancras. I'm just underneath a big old lime, lime tree. And there's something tap tap in away up there. There's a whole line of lime trees. I mean, generations that planted these, they must have had some sort of idea what they were doing. I'm out of breath. I think that's good for you. Now that's looking back over Alton Pancras and those ridges up on the hill, they're prehistoric farming um, and it does say something about it on the sheet down there so presumably they've got some sort of preservation on them and over on the distance there beyond that tree that's the Henley Hillbillies track where they drive quad bikes and little minis around that track that barn on top of the hill I can see that from the other side, from my bedroom window. So I photograph that quite often, from the other side. And over there they've got fields of maize, and that will just be for pheasant cover. Because shooting pheasants is a bigger, seems like it's a bigger thing around here than actual farming for food. There's more pheasant cover up there to the east. We had some pheasants given us, a brace of pheasants and they'd been hanging for a week but they uh, they was oh well they were shot um and they uh, so they had the shot in the breasts and that and then they the dogs had picked them up and they were sort of skinned and i didn't really fancy it um most of it went for the cat and then the odd good bits i put for the uh, helen pressure cooked them and she had those. But roadkill is far better than shot birds because they haven't been picked up by a dog. They haven't got any buckshot in them. And, and, and you can assure that they're fresh. So I'd much rather have a roadkill pheasant than a, the shot one. Is that a nicely composed picture? A bit difficult to tell before I get it on the screen. I've taken one or two photos of it so I can edit the photos just as I want them. I've been watching quite a bit of American, two Americans, Frater Oculus, who's very, who some would say is very paranoid, but he seems far more intelligent than that. He doesn't seem mentally ill, but he puts forward a paranoid point of view. And Casey Nestat, who's one of the most popular people on YouTube, and he's a vlogger. And he takes some very nice composed pictures and he's very good and quick at editing and he's he's very positive he's a real extrovert i've been thinking about the whole idea of extrovert introvert recently and it's a bit like men are from mars women are from venus you know can extroverts and introverts sort of actually relate you know do they actually know how the other one thinks or works are they scared of each other do they belittle each other? I've been thinking about all those sorts of issues. Of course, um, you know, people can work together, but um, can everybody work together? Or is it just that those who can work together who can work together and there's quite a proportion that can't? I've got to the summit and there's a big water tank. Thames water, no, Wessex water, Rake Hill Reservoir. And of course I've been watching videos of Leonard Cohen interviews. Uh, I've been a fan for many many years and I was interested that his sort of meditation it's not about getting somewhere it's about believing that you're or you've arrived 
and exploring that place. And I would go with that. There we go. I'm nearly back down now. That's been a nice walk. Bye for now.